KFC match that you had, was that a rib? Or, I mean, I know you were promoting, like that was promoting, you were doing the commercials. Like, I watched, because I, I was watching a couple things that you did and that popped up and I said to myself, I wonder if he'd like this or not. Because, I mean, I, I guess it would be fun to dress up and, you know, do this. Um, it's a very serious business it, when it comes to KFC and the Colonel, just so you know. Okay. Um, <laughs> like there was the a Colonel. special wig that I got fitted for that got flown in with a person uh holding it like it, it's a big deal what? so whether whether are some things at work which of course are ribs to make fun of you that was a fun one where i got to beat the freaking colonel we got to do a real commercial with it i got to beat up my buddy miz who was a chicken in the video right and it was like a bunch of money so sure. hey. kind of a win-win like those kind of ribs uh, i'm okay, okay with. but it was um we had a really cool partnership with kfc and they ended up doing i mean maybe rick flair or Shawn michaels or something but I go, I got to be the freaking Colonel. It was the coolest thing ever. And yeah. um, and in that, and people had no idea what was happening because we just filmed this match after a Raw and we just like come out and it's just like, I'm the Colonel and, and Ms. <laughs> the chicken. Like, they're like, what the hell is happening? And we just got to have fun with it uh, yeah. and film for a couple of days. So no, that was an absolute blast. Good. KFC people were so great to me. And uh, yeah, so uh, there's a million other things that are ribs. That's just like- I, I'm saying, I'm not knocking it at all. It just wanted, yeah. that was one of the things that popped up. And I was like, I wonder if he considered this like a rib or if it was cool to, you know, do something. Because believe me, we all did things that were either, uh, we cringe when we look back or, oh, you know, yeah. you do what the office tells you to do. I, I get of, it. Of, of course. And, it's, and a lot of people forget, like, say like, I don't know, AEW now or TNA now and me 10 years ago, like they're, they're like, here's the idea. Come up with a cool promo and we can kind of throw some ideas back and forth. With me, a lot of times it's like Vince wants you to say these three sentences and you look back and you're like, I'm so embarrassed that I said those three sentences. So it's like, <laughs> it's not like I was bad at a promo. It was like, I hate this cringy thing that I was told to say and there was no way around it. You know, a couple different times you build up some equity and you go, I'm going to go out on my own. And then I got like a call from Jericho saying, Hey, that's the coolest promo we've ever done. I was like, well, when I got back to the grill, they told me I'm not talking for six months. Cause they, it wasn't what they told me to say. Yeah. And he's like, what? Okay, great. And so you like, you take the good with the bad and you go, I have to listen and do exactly what the boss wants. And you try and sneak something in that you think it's not to pop yourself. It's to like help a story or make it that much better. And even if it is, They'd be like, we want you guys to start stepping on some toes. And you're like, all right. You go out there like, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah, hell yeah. And you get to the back and go, well, not those toes. And you're like, well, whose toes do you want me to step on, JTGs? Get the hell out of here. Like, I'm going after the top guys. Like, that's that's what stepping on toes is. And you're like, you got to remember who the boss is and who his friends uh, are. And take that into account, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I, I always found like, because uh, uh, in the beginning, promos were not my strong point. I used to get really nervous, especially if I had to do it verbatim. But when I would get bullet points, I found that my mind would start to wander and I would add all these cool things. And I was so much more relaxed if they just yeah. gave me a couple ideas instead of like a page with blah, 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 blah. Because yeah. I'm not good with memory. Yeah, I, I'm not a crazy memorizer either. But then even, even if you do memorize an entire sheet of 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 words, yeah. you're just saying those words. Like you're not going, you're not feeling them. You're not like, oh, this one really hits hard here. And you're just like not winging it and getting bullet points is where it is. And then your character and your body naturally just flows into whatever you were actually in the moment of. And it really is more how you're saying some things than the exact words. But uh several for about a decade straight it was i need this exact word and you're like oh okay so yeah. Like, yeah and then the chicken jumped over the fence and you're like, oh okay like, there's no emotion you're just yeah. not getting it and you're like uh okay yeah i don't know but uh um, well, yeah that happens uh, well, that's part of the deal and we all are nervous as hell at first especially when oh, you're trying God, to for something. the worst the, i used to shake i would be i would i was the worst that's that's all i had to say now i'm good but back then i was terrible